Restyle is a free, open-source librarian program designed to help Casio owners edit and archive AC7 rhythm files. Please note that this is not an official Casio release, but rather a community project that would not have been possible without the contributions of several dedicated users on Casio Music Forums. After two years of collaborating with lead developer Stefan Himpe, I'm proud to announce that Restyle is ready for a public 1.0 release. This video will provide a brief overview of some of the exciting new functionality made possible by Restyle, but for a more detailed explanation of these features, please refer to the full user's guide in the hub thread over on Casio Music Forums. I included a ton of helpful charts, graphics, and other resources in it, so if you want to check those out, you can follow the link in the description down below. Most AC7 compatible Casio keyboards offer one intro, two variations, two fills, and one ending. However, there are a select few instruments, specifically the MZX line and the upper level CTX models, that have access to two additional fills and variations for a total of four. With Restyle's automated rhythm split feature, it's now possible to divide these four variation source rhythms into two separate two variation rhythms, allowing owners of less advanced Casio models to import each half of the original rhythm into adjacent slots in the internal memory. By switching between these two split rhythms, these Casio users can easily access all of the material contained in the original four variation rhythm. If you own an MZX model or a CTX 5000 or 3000, you can use a sustain pedal to cycle through registration slots instead of having to press the registration buttons manually. When combined with Restyle's unrestricted element swapping feature, this allows you to trigger fills and variation changes completely hands-free. The ability to name user registrations is an extremely common feature request among Casio users, but we've yet to see it implemented outside of pro-level models like the MZX series or the PX5S. Fortunately, there is a fairly simple workaround that allows you to achieve more or less the same result, but up until now, it's only been possible on Casios that have onboard tone or rhythm editing capabilities. Some recent Casio releases, such as the CTX700, the CDP S350 and the CTS400 can technically work with custom data in the form of importing user rhythms, but they normally can't utilize this workaround because they have no way of editing these rhythms once they've been imported to the keyboard itself. Thanks to Restyle's handy rhythm renaming feature, owners of these import-only instruments can now make full use of the workaround to apply helpful labels to their registrations. If you've ever attempted to edit a factory preset rhythm, you may have noticed that every track shows up as fixed when viewed in the rhythm editor. These fixed tracks cannot be selected for recording, meaning you can't alter them with overdub recording or spot clear, so up until now, the only changes you could make to a preset rhythm were voice assignment tweaks in the rhythm mixer menu. However, every file that gets processed by Restyle will be automatically unlocked. So this fixed track data will now appear as recorded track data, just like any other user rhythm would. This allows for much more flexibility when you're modifying a preset rhythm, as you can now add or remove individual notes with overdub recording or spot clear.
That wraps up our general overview of ReStyle's main features, but like I said before, there's plenty more to learn about in the full user's guide, so I highly recommend you check that out. If you want to download ReStyle and start unlocking these extra features for your Casio keyboard, you can find a link to the hub thread over on the forums in the description down below. This has been Chandler Holloway, project lead for ReStyle. Thanks for watching.